Theft in the gaming industry is something I have been discussing quite a lot as of recently. I discussed an animator plagiarizing notable animations for Sony's Winter Games lineup, a games journalist being accused of stealing another writer's work, which he admitted to later down the line, Microsoft had a bit of a run-in with some content theft, and now we are here talking about a situation between Roblox and Tommy Tellerico. Tommy Tallarico is an industry veteran. He is the president and CEO of Intellivision. I am sure a lot of you know who he is. The Intellivision Amico is actually releasing later this year, which I have been keeping a close eye on, and I also have discussed it on the channel a couple of times now. So I am sure that you all know the famous oof noise, which has been popularized due to Roblox, and of course, one would assume this sound was created by their team. Your first thought isn't questioning its legitimacy, though it actually isn't theirs. It originated from the 1999 game named Messiah. For the past few months since June, Tommy has been aware of the sound effect being used in Roblox, since he tweeted out back then asking players to confirm the sound effect was actually present in-game after seeing it in YouTube videos. And you also have to consider how popularized this sound truly has become. I mean, such large YouTubers like PewDiePie even use it because at this point, it has become somewhat of a meme and a joke due to the nature of Roblox. So you have to consider how many people are actually using this sound effect and crediting the wrong person and the wrong creators. So after 14 years of using this sound effect, the suits behind Roblox are still acting as if they have the right to use this effect. They told Tommy Tallarico that they did not owe him anything for it since they mistakenly grabbed it off of an illegal website 15 years ago. They have taken this sound without permission from the owner, and Tommy has stated on Twitter that he is in contact with them, and has been since last year, and he has been trying to get them to outright buy it at this point, since they have been using it for so long. I am sure that he doesn't particularly care about this sound clip, and since people would be upset to see it removed from the game, I do think that it is fair that he just asks them to outright purchase it. It does not seem like a greedy move to me. Now, Roblox recently put up some polls in-game for what sound effects people would like if the oof effect was gone, and this sparked rumors of it being removed. And because people are truly unaware of this situation, Tommy Tallarico is actually receiving threats online from the Roblox community, saying that he is a greedy, awful human being and all he cares about is money. Being a Roblox fan, I am guessing you may be a little bit younger, so I am not going to get upset. Although I am getting a little tired of the hate and even death threats because Roblox might take my work they illegally acquired and now knowingly continue to use. What kind of world are we living in when a creator of something that is stolen and used without permission, credit, or compensation is being heralded as the bad guy against a multi-billion dollar corporation? Here is a little loose for you. We offered Roblox to just purchase the oof sound. And they said no. They told us they did not owe us anything because they mistakenly grabbed the sound off some illegal website 15 years ago. The courts will decide who is right and wrong. So be pissed at Roblox, not me. We'll be making a video about it this week as I find this to be an excellent teaching moment for younger folks to understand the importance of art creation and the people who make it. Just because you find it for free on the internet does not mean it is yours. Younger folks and Roblox need to understand this. Obviously, we do not know what is going on behind these scenes legally, but Tommy Tellerico is not in the wrong here. No creator should be shamed for wanting their work credited, and no creator should be attacked for asking a multi-billion dollar corporation for compensation. He is being more than reasonable, as a lot of people would not even offer to sell their work after a situation like this. 
I do hope that it gets resolved very quickly, though it sounds like it will be a long drawn out process, but I will leave Tommy Tallarico's Twitter down in the description in the pinned comment in case you all are interested in following him and following closer with the situation. I will be keeping an eye on it, so also make sure to check out my Twitter, which will be linked down below for updates. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.